The multiplication of vectors can be carried out with either scalar product or vector product. In vector product, when we multiply two vectors, it results in a vector quantity. But in scalar product, which is also known as the dot product, in dot product, when we multiply two vectors, it results in a scalar quantity. Today, we will discuss the dot product of a vector C with itself. This is also known as the law of cosines and we will prove these equations. Okay, let's suppose we have a vector C equal to A minus B. Taking the dot product of this vector C with itself, we will write it as C dot C. Now we know that the dot product between two vectors A dot B is equal to AB cos of theta where a is the magnitude of vector a b is the magnitude of vector b and theta is the angle between vector a and vector b now taking the dot product of vector c with itself c dot c is equal to a minus b a minus b dot a minus b now multiplying vector a with vector a it will become a dot a now multiplying this a with minus b it will become minus a dot b now similarly follow the procedure for minus b minus b dot a and minus b minus b become minus minus become plus and b dot b now a dot a, a dot a is equal to a square, why this is equal to a square, for example if we have a vector c, when we take the dot product of this vector c with itself, then it will become c c cos theta, but the theta between these will be equal to 0. When the theta is equal to then cos 0 equal to 1. This cos 0 term is equal to 1 so we just simply write it as c square. Similarly the c dot c will become c square. a dot a is the dot product of vector a with itself at it will be equal to a square. Now here a dot b is equal to a b cos theta. So it become minus a b cos theta. Now taking the dot product again here b dot a is equal to minus b a cos theta. And b dot b is equal to b square. This minus a b cos theta and minus b a cos theta will add up with each other and it will become minus 2 a b cos theta. It doesn't matter if we write it as a b cos theta or b a cos theta b. So c square is equal to a square minus 2 a b cos of theta plus b square. And finally we will have c square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos theta. And this is the law of cosine. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment your questions.